barbell inverted row. Now, when setting up and performing this exercise, the key things to keep in mind are the placement. So generally we set at about waist level. If I was standing up, this would be about around my waist. If I go higher, it's gonna make it easier. If I go lower, it's gonna make it harder. Um, I wanna make sure that the force I'm applying into the bar is pulling into the bar as opposed to, sorry, into the rack as opposed to away from the rack. And I'll show you why now actually. So if I'm pulling away from the rack, I run the risk of the bar slipping out, me falling back, and the bar taking out some of my teeth. That's why you always wanna make sure that you're pulling into the rack. So that way the bar has literally nowhere to go in this position, assuming I'm applying force in this position. Some other things to keep in mind, you can do this exercise with straight or bent legs, bent legs being easier than straight. This just comes back to preference and your ability. So setting your grip, shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width. I'm gonna be doing with bent legs and you're just gonna perform a row all the way up, pulling your chest to the bar. Feeling the squeeze in your back and feeling your shoulder blades get pinned together as you row. Some things to avoid when performing this exercise is using momentum, focus on full range of motion, um, and focus on the quality of the movement. Don't be afraid to make it a little bit easier if that means you can perform the exercise better.